going to read a poem tonight. Um, it's called Chaotic Slash Paranoid. And I know it's a complete total switch from what I normally do, but I decided, hey, while I have a soapbox, I might as well use it for, you know, other things. And probably one out of two people will actually watch this and go, wow, um, that was a waste of four minutes of my internet life. But, you know, I'm sorry, I guess. <laughs> Not really, but sorry if you feel like it's a waste. I'm not sorry for putting it up here yet. That could change, but right now it seems fine. Anyway, excuse me, it's called Chaotic Slash Paranoid. Leave me alone. Those eyes were once so nice, a prize to be obtained, and now they won't go away. Those eyes they burn, the eyes of paranoia that pry and lie and surround me like flies and ask why. I try to survive, but those eyes, they burn like fire and conspire to take me alive. The end. I just love how the voice changes as I start to read poetry, make it more dramatic. Um, I wrote this one night at like 2 or 3 in the morning just because I was, uh, I don't know, I had a whole lot of thoughts going through my head and they were none of them were particularly pleasant. They were all pretty nasty and I was feeling a little bitter, so kind of wrote this poem and I had to it actually it wrote itself in my head and if you're a poet or why ever however you ended up by this page and stumbled upon this particular poem if you happen to be a poet or a writer or whatever you may have those times where you're doing something and the poem or the story of the song whatever writes itself in your head and you have to literally put it on paper or it won't go away it'll just keep running around on the inside of your head and driving you insane. That's kind of what this poem was. Um, and it's it's kind of a nice feeling. It's nice to be inspired. It's um, it's also, it's a, it's a bit of that kind of uh, maniac energy because it's like, like I said, it's two in the morning and all of a sudden I'm laying there and I can't sleep and I'm like, and the poem just literally starts to compose itself in my head and the lines just come like this. And so it's, you know, it's just, it's a, it's more rare, or is it rarer? I don't know. It's more rare for me now, unfortunately, because my creativity has kind of been, um, you know, under lock and key lately. But anyway, I just thought I'd share. I hope you enjoy. 